what we have here is an exercise in stunting. A conference attempting to fool the country into believing they're not top heavy at the QB position. But we're not gonna be that naive. The ACC, we kinda got it going on. Take DeAndre Francois and James Blackman at FSU. Two QBs fighting to be top seminal shot call. Two seasons ago, it was Francois who threw for over 3,300 yards and 20 touchdowns. He ducked out of trouble like Houdini. Last year, a knee injury ended his season early. And now his replacement, Blackman, doesn't want to give up the starting job. Keeping it 1,000 in Ryan Finley, NC State has arguably the best QB in the conference. Maybe the next Phillip Rivers. Finley's ripe to show up and show out for a third 3,000 yard season. At Louisville, the best player in team history. Lamar Jackson, you are ridiculous. Heisman Trophy winner Lamar, last name Jackson, is a Baltimore backup now. The heir to the throne looks like Jawan Pass, who has the name and the feel for the job. But if Pass's passes fail in week one against a vaulted Bama defense, perhaps Bobby Petrino could insert freshman Malik Cunningham behind center. Virginia, G-Tech, Pitt, Wake, Duke, UNC. They don't have much competition until they do. The rest of the conference reads like a Netflix script. Remember Eric Dungy? Yeah, you do. Dungy breaks free in the Clemson territory. He's the Syracuse QB that shook up the world in their upset win against Clemson last year. They defeat Clemson 27 to 24. Well, he's back, ready to shake sh it up again. As is Anthony Brown at BC. He's back after that leg injury ended last season for him three games early. As is Josh Jackson at VTech, who too is back as the pound for pound best quarterback in the conference, not named Finley. At Miami. Rozier gonna take a shot, and it is caught! Touchdown, Miami! Malik Rozier led the U to a 10-0 start before the Canes dropped their final three. Now he's back. But Nikosi Perry, Kay Welton, and Jaron Williams are waiting in the wings for Mark Rick to get them action. And we almost forgot Clem, son, who stunned everyone with an in-house battle that could decide the national championship. Trevor Lawrence, the number two high school player in the nation last year, is just waiting for his moment to stunt. Kelly Bryant is probably going to make damn sure that doesn't happen for his teammate, but happens for his team. The one he plans on leading back to the playoff promised land. 